Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I'm Skye and I'm so happy that you're here for this one. So today's video is the second part to my most recent upload. That upload was all about vintage and antique decor. I took you shopping at the depot at Gibson Mill, which is one of my favorite antique malls in the South. It is massive and I actually combined two different shopping trips to give you one huge shopping video and then I brought you back to the house and shared my haul. Today in this video we are going to do some decorating with those pieces and uh, I'll share some styling ideas with some of my vintage finds. I'm also going to share a gallery wall that we are putting together. I have a new light fixture that Chad is hanging in this space. We got a new rug and then I'll be using some pieces that I already have mixed in with some of the antique finds from last week on our table to create just a really simple spring tablescape. So without further ado, let's jump right in and get to decorating. We are going to start with the gallery wall. So I am currently unwrapping my beautiful prints from heirloom print shop they are one of my favorite places to order actual physical prints from i have found that the quality is unmatched so when you're shopping on their website you can actually choose what type of paper you want they give you three different options and that way you can customize what your prints are looking like to your overall aesthetic and the look that you're going for so there's this smooth there's a textured premium option and a rolled canvas i actually just went with this smooth which is the most affordable option um, and i truly just absolutely love these prints i've seen a lot of people do diys to kind of create more of an oil um, painted look and I think that's really beautiful it's definitely something that you could do I didn't opt to do that this time around but uh, I'm really excited to see all of this come together you'll see in here as I'm opening these couple of prints um, I did end up grabbing a few for our daughter's bedroom she does ballet and loves dance and so I wanted to stack two photos over her bed and some old picture frames and I think they're going to look so cute. But I thought I would save on shipping and go ahead and just bundle that in with my order for the breakfast nook. So getting all of those unboxed and then I will get my frames ready. I'd love to take a quick moment to thank today's video sponsor, which is Dime Beauty. As many of you know, I am a huge Dime Beauty fan. I use their skincare every day and night, and now I'm branching out and trying some of their beauty products. So the Eyelash Boost Serum is one of Dime's best-selling beauty products. I've noticed after using it for only a few weeks that my lashes are already starting to grow longer and thicker. So I use the eyelash boost serum in the evenings after I do my skincare routine and then now I've gotten my face of makeup on I just haven't done my eyes so this is my go-to volume mascara from Dime it comes with a tapered brush to easily build the lashes it goes on really smooth it doesn't clump and it's got powerful ingredients to aid in hair strength length and thickness y'all these are my real lashes I cannot believe this mascara I am in love so next I'll apply the eyebrow enhancing gel which is formulated to provide a strong flexible hold while not being crunchy or flaky as it dries and it provides all of the fantastic benefits from a styling and versatility standpoint but it does go the extra mile by providing the hair follicles with ingredients that promote the appearance of longer stronger thicker and overall healthier hair full confession I've always struggled with thin patchy eyebrows and just after using this for a few weeks I've already started seeing the benefits and noticing that my eyebrows are getting thicker. So my latest obsession and favorite way to round out my beauty routine is by using this lip balm from Dime. It is ultra hydrating, anti-inflammatory, and honestly has just the softest feel. It 
uh, is not greasy and I love the sweet taste that it has. And y'all know my favorite, favorite, favorite perfume is Lovely Dreams. I've been using this for a couple of years. I don't ever leave the house without spraying a few spritzes. So all of my favorites from this video and all of my Dime skincare that I use on a daily basis is linked in the video description down below. Dime has so generously given my YouTube family a 20% off discount with the code SKY20, or you can use my link and the discount will apply automatically. So in the breakfast nook, we no longer have the big hutch that we had on that left side wall with the board and batten. We removed that and turned our table so that it is horizontal and I really am enjoying it this way. However, I do think someday we'll probably add a sideboard to the board and batten wall, and then we will turn the table back to the way that we had it before. But for now, it fills the space really well and still allows plenty of room to walk back to our little half bath, and so we're enjoying it like this. So thankfully, I have my handy dandy husband and he is the pro at hanging pictures in our home. If I do it, there's no measuring and I just put a nail on the wall. So we've got him here, which I'm so thankful for. And he is just kind of looking at the table and referring to that as the map that I have laid out. So whenever we do a gallery wall, we're an art wall. I love to lay everything out on a table or just on a flat surface. The floor works just fine too and get an idea of how I would like everything to lay out. And once I've done that, I usually take a picture with my phone and that way it doesn't get lost if we are starting to hang pictures and forget the type of gap that we were looking for. I can easily reference back to that picture on my phone. This is my favorite of the photos and also of the frames. This was one of the antique frames that I picked up at the depot and we took the matting and the original picture out and unfortunately in doing so the glass cracked so we ended up removing the glass as well but I actually don't mind one bit I really like it it feels a little bit more like an oil painting um, there's no reflection and so I just loved the frame enough that it didn't bother me that we didn't have any glass in there this beautiful pine shelf was a part of my haul from the antique mall and I love it. I think it is gorgeous. I love pine. I love just the kind of cottagey feel that the shelf gives off. I had envisioned putting some old dishes and like a mixture of white pitchers and little bowls and things like that on here. However, I brought it home and my husband does not love it at all. <laughs> I was honestly surprised. I thought he would really like it. He usually loves like anything antique wood, but he just was not feeling it. So the original plan was to put it right here where this mirror is. However, uh, we, we did hold it up and took a look at it and it's just too small for the space. This mirror really fits the space well and so I haven't decided yet if I'll be using the shelf in a different area in our house or if I'm going to end up just putting it for sale on Marketplace. Unfortunately, that is like the only negative with the antique mall that we shop at often is there's no returns. So. I have yet to figure out what I'm going to do with that. I might potentially put it in our bathroom, but just stay tuned. Moving on to the light fixture. So I originally ordered this light fixture from Amazon and I'll pop a picture up so you can see the whole thing. I didn't realize that the gold was going to be so gold, if you will. It was listed as antique brass and I just really didn't 
I wasn't getting that. It didn't match our other hardware that we had. Um, and so I wanted to go ahead and return that. So we did that, went on to Facebook Marketplace, and shockingly enough, I found almost exactly what I was looking for in our neighborhood. So it couldn't have worked out any better. We shot them a message. They said it was still available and Chad ran and grabbed it and was back home within 15 minutes max. So it was absolutely perfect and it fits the space so much better. The gold on this chandelier is a little bit more of a champagne gold. It's not quite the antique brass that I was looking for. However, I do feel like it goes really well with our light fixtures that we already have and it complements some of the other brass that's in our house. So I did much prefer this finish to the first light that we had ordered off of Amazon. Now I'm just getting the table wiped down, giving it a good scrubbing. I think we had some breakfast for dinner the night before and there's some maple syrup that definitely needed to be cleaned off the table. And then we're gonna start with that centerpiece. centerpiece I wanted to bring a little bit of some spring decor but keep things light and airy I love using stacked dishes pictures and I love to put a plant or some beautiful stems with a vase in the center of my centerpiece I feel like it just kind of grounds it I set that there and then I kind of build around it so I just gathered some different plates and bowls and pitchers that I already owned. Some of them were antique finds. I got my big stack of plates from Goodwill for 50 cents a piece a few months back. And um, the pitcher that is holding the wooden spoons is from actually from the depot from a different trip. And the other pieces are from House and Home. And the plant is from Target a couple of seasons ago. So really simple, but I still feel like with that greenery and the wreath we've got in the mirror that we really are bringing spring into this space. I also love the rug. It adds some really simple texture to uh, the table and underneath it. It just kind of cozies it up and gives it a little bit of warmth. Alrighty friends, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some decorating inspiration. Thanks so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye friends.